Everyone, this is Heather, and Heather is here because of some very unusual and devastating circumstances. Two years ago, Heather says she was engaged to the love of her life, a man named Anthony. Now, shortly after discovering she was pregnant with Anthony's now nine-month-old daughter, he was tragically murdered. Today, Heather is here for a paternity test because Anthony's mom, Dina, does not believe that her deceased son is the father of this child. Now, to understand this story a little more, take a look at this. During the course of their relationship, Heather says she and her fiance, Anthony, talked about having children. But after five months of dating, their relationship took a turn for the worse, and Heather made the painful decision to separate and move out. But soon after that, Heather was surprised to find out that she was pregnant, still in love with Anthony. Heather was excited to tell him he was going to be a father. Anthony was overjoyed by the news and the two planned on moving back in together and giving their relationship another try. Tragically, their happiness was short-lived because two days after Heather broke the news of her pregnancy, Anthony was shot and killed in cold blood. According to reports, after a possible argument with a neighbor, Anthony was shot repeatedly in the hallway of his apartment building. Anthony was then apparently dragged into his apartment where he lay bleeding and died. Today, Anthony's death has left Heather and Anthony's mother, Dina, with more questions than answers. Heather says she knows in her heart that Anthony is the father of her nine-month-old daughter, Tony. Heather is here to prove this to Anthony's mother, Dina, who claims her deceased son is not the father. Even though that's a recreation of what happened, you're all upset? Did you love him? <laughs> Heather. With all of my heart. You did. He was a nice guy. He's a smart guy. Oh my God! Awesome. He, he, he was talented and sweet and, oh my God, he cared about every living thing. <laughs> you know, his mother doesn't think that he's the father of your child. Yes. Why would she think that? I have no idea. Did you know Dina? No, I have. I didn't meet Dina until the day of his funeral. She had never laid eyes on me. I had never laid eyes on her. Now, two days reasons. before he was murdered, you told him you were pregnant. Yeah. Was he happy? Oh my God, the man cried. <laughs> and what happened about 15 minutes before he was murdered? Um, he called me. He asked me would I come home. I told him I'd be home the next day after work. And uh, he said, you know, I have so many things I want to say to you. I have things I want to ask you. We need to work through this, you know. He mentioned the baby, and then he told me that, you know, no matter what, I love you. And I paused, and I just, I hung up the phone, and I didn't really think it would be the last time I'd ever talk to him. Now, when you met his mother, I guess at the funeral? Yes. What was that like? She, when she met me, she said hi, and I said hi to her, and um, she asked me, was I pregnant? I told her yes. And uh, she seemed genuinely happy. She said, you know, she would help me any way she could. This is what she had to say before the show. Watch this. My name is Dina, and I'm here today to find out if my son Anthony fathered a little girl named Tony. Anthony, my son, was tragically murdered two years ago. My son Anthony was shot 14 times, and I believe in my heart that this was a crime of passion. Now a woman named Heather is claiming that my son fathered her baby girl, Tony. My heart tells me that this little girl is not my grandchild. I think Heather is a liar, and she's actually after money and pity, and I believe that she played a part in his death. If this is Anthony's daughter, I want her to know how wonderful her daddy was and that he was my star. That's a shock, isn't it? Is that a shock? You have no idea. <laughs> I love this man. This, 
he lived with me. We lived, I mean, <laughs> we told each other, we love each other every day. <laughs> he found out I was pregnant. He told the world. It had two days to know, and everyone we've ever met knew. Now, the person who did this, right? Yes. Has, has been arrested. Yes, convicted. He pleaded, he pled guilty. Why do you think that she said that you could be involved in this? I really don't know. Well, let's ask her. Here she is. Dina. Dina, come on out. I'm hurt. How are you? You okay? Not good. Not good. Okay, come on over here. I can't sit uh, next to her. Huh? You don't want to sit no. next to her? No, I don't. Wow. Dina, no. she could be she could be the mother of your grandchild. She had something to do with his demise. Okay. How do you know that? Because I talked to the prosecutor. Okay. And what Morally, did he say? she's responsible. Get real once it for once in your life, Heather. Okay. You're just lying to get money. Okay. Money. And attention. Everything's about you. What about his candlelight vigil, black on black, held in Cleveland, Ohio? Do you what remember that it? night? Yeah. It was all about you. It ain't about you, okay? Oh. It's about my son, my star. Is okay? that your son? Yes. Those this are is your Anthony. the ashes of, of your son? This is Anthony. You brought them with you? He needs to be here. Put them right down here. Now let me get this straight, Dina. Why don't you think that your son's the father of this child? Because the night before, he Anthony called his and he told him this crazy. I got to get the out of there. There is no possible way conjurable that I was involved or there. I didn't even know the idiot who did it. <laughs> Why do you keep dishonoring his memory, okay? This child was everything to me. This was the end of my family. Do you realize that? Dina, is it all about money? Apparently. That's what I believe. Dina, if what this... What money? You had your mother, you lost her. You said your son, you lost him. You said you had nothing. In about 30 seconds, you might have a grandchild. What are you going to do? I'm going to raise her as I raised my son. Now, let me ask you this. Does that child look like your child? After saying that, in all honesty, he favors her. Well, let's find out right now. Dina, I hope that you get into this child's life because oh, I will. guess what you deserve you deserve to have family she needs to know about her father and how wonderful he was okay. i've been begging since the beginning <laughs> this was never about money or anything else when it comes to nine month old tony dina's deceased son anthony is the father <laughs> Bad blood between the two of you. Yes, all I wanted to do is tell the truth once and for well, all. all I, Honor his memory. I'm telling That's you. All I tell I the truth I'm telling you right now. He was Dina, nothing but let me tell you. you. Let me tell you what That's this. That's true. He was. Shh, I know that. So why would I have a reason to even do this? Shh, shh, what? What? What can shh, possibly Heather, be my Heather, reason? It's all Heather, about you, sweetie. Heather, calm Always down. Always all about shh, you. Dina, calm down. If the two of you, okay, have all these problems and this conflict, please. Let this beautiful, innocent child be a bridge between the two. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. I have been telling the truth since the damn beginning. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. What would be my reason, Dina? I don't know. What would Maybe because he be called and said he was leaving the following morning he, and you didn't want him to leave? He never called me. I left because Anthony said he was not leaving. Why did you say I was estranged from him? That was a lie. Your son I told me that. I was somewhere. I was somewhere. I could not be that? there for him. Okay, if okay. I had a choice, I would have got him. And neither did I. I. I asked him. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, if you want to see more Mari content, click here, and be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos.